continuing Disney's Heroes Battle Modes. So back into the fray pack is back. Grab yourself some hero chips for this amazing hero with a special bundle. So for $27.99, you can get 100 Ursula chips and it looks like some free stamina. So that looks like a pretty sweet deal. Also, you can get some coins with that as well. Not a whole bunch, but 200,000. You know what? Any coin helps at any point in this game because coin is super hard to save up and get. Mind you, I do have 3.2 uh, million, so I'm getting pretty good saving up, but I'm sure I'm going to spend some of it today. So we're gonna start here and open some crates. So we've got a gold crate, diamond crate, and a gold crate, which is my favorite to open, um, especially the diamond crate one. So we'll start out with that because I can't wait to open it. And we've got an anti-aging cream. So I've actually gotten quite a few of these recently. I don't know if it's just a more popular badge now that is in the crates or what, but you know what? Any badge is useful, especially for enhanced all right, so let's open the guild crate now and the featured hero for today is Judy Hops We also have some badges that could be useful like Triton's Trident clan Now you know what that is that one's a total mouthful So I dare you guys say that five times really fast <laughs> All right, so let's open the guild crate and we got Judy Hops chips amazing so we got three of them so now we're at 12 of 50 before she can go ahead and be evolved now speaking of evolutions that we've had happen um we've had uh some recently we have had miguel he's gone up um, now he has been promoted, so now he's purple. I would like to get him to evolve though, but I definitely need a lot more hero chips for that. Jesse, uh, she's one I would like to try and get maxed out in stars, but right now um, I need 150 chips before I can even dream of that. So that is something I'm going to have to work on. Eve is getting close to being evolved to get her fourth star, which would be absolutely amazing if we could get that. Now the best place for me to get her chips right now um, would be in the campaign in elite mode. Actually, I forgot to open the gold crate, so we'll do that first before we go ahead there. And we got the badge of girth. Yikes. Scary. All right, so let's go into Elite here, and we can see Eve's chip is the featured one. We've also got some Stitch chips here as well, and if you guys saw the last video, you will know that I'm collecting for Stitch, and I'm getting super duper close. So I'm really, really excited. Now, in the last video, it was double the badges and double the chips, so it was definitely worth um, playing a lot and even using not just the energy canisters, but uh, to raid several times and to use gems and stuff like that to refresh it, which you can do once you have battled three times. Um, you can go ahead and use your gems for that if you want. You don't have to, but yesterday it was super worth it, especially when you're getting double the amount of anything. It's like, yeah, why not, right? Okay, so here we can see that I'm done stage two, on to stage three now of I attempt to get an e chip, and right now I've got nothing in the crates. Absolutely nothing, so I don't know. Oh, there's three items, so maybe? Nope, we did not, but we got the spaghetti badge. Well, it's not called the spaghetti badge, but I call it the spaghetti badge. Now we'll go ahead and raid it, and see, we can get the chip when we raid, but not when we battle, go figures. Okay, so see, it's 20 gems if you want to reset, and then you can battle again or raid, whichever you so choose. Now, I've recently figured out how to raid, so I've got, like, way too many raid tickets. It's actually insane. I've got 2,132 at the moment, um, so, yeah. I've just been saving since I started playing the game, apparently, and now that I know that raiding needs, you guys don't have to watch it. You guys don't actually have to watch it all the time. So let's go here. Let's raid again. No stitch chips. Seriously? Seriously, why not? I love the stitch chips. All right, let's go here. We'll try again. Now, when you raid though, guys, it doesn't give, here, I'll just battle this one. Um, it doesn't give your heroes any XP or anything like that. So that's the only downside really to raiding. Again, I've just learned this recently, so I am doing a lot more raiding probably than I will normally do, but Probably for the next few videos, um, that's sort of what I'm doing is just rating so you guys can see it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome because it saves a lot, a lot of time. I was definitely investing a lot more time in the, in the game, but now I really don't have to with this awesome feature. So we're on stage two and we've got one of these brutal creeps. I don't know what it is with those guys. I comment on them a lot. 
um, when I do my videos, but uh, they just take forever. So that is one bonus with rating. I don't have to painfully watch that every single time. Okay, what on earth? I have 25 of these, but that is super cute badge. Badge of friendship. Oh, let's be friends. <laughs> okay, so oh, in order for me to raid anymore, I've got to use some stamina. So, um, you know what? I might actually wait today because I've got some time on my hands a little bit later on. So I will wait uh, to do that. Now the thing is, I can raid once, so we'll do that. And I did get a stitch chip there. Oh, I'm two away. Okay, I might actually change my mind here. I am two away from getting stitch. Oh, do I wait or do I go for it? I know I could do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it, guys. Change of plans. We are going to go ahead and raid, and we are going to, should we use gems? Let's use gems today. Normally I don't, I use the energy canisters, but yeah, I'm buying it with gems. So let's just go for it here, and we'll raid. There's one, oh my goodness. Okay, let's reset. I'm actually gonna get stitched today. Well, not from that attempt. Okay, we'll go to one of the other ones here because I know it's only 20 gems, so. There we go, there is the last stitch chip we need. <gasps> okay, let's go to heroes here. Oh my goodness, he's shaking and quivering at the bottom. He is super excited now. The great thing about having stitch now on my heroes list as soon as I click him, he's not official until I click it, um, but he's a three star already. So a lot of heroes, they don't turn out to be three stars when you get them, but as you guys can see, like 80 chips just to get him is crazy. But I mean, again, it's useful. There are a couple other characters like that, like Scar and Moana and Maleficent, um, just to name a few. So again, they take longer to get, but when they do become your hero, they are a lot stronger um, than a lot of the other ones. So let's go ahead and bring Stitch in here. Now 200,000 gold coins is what you will need when you guys get Stitch. So you know what? I'm not even thinking twice. I don't even care. We're unlocking it. Yeah, you got a new hero. I loved his little, little dance there. All right, so naturally we have to just slap a whole bunch of badges on him and use some canisters to get his level super duper high. Okay, so he's a 47 right now, so that'll be enough for me to just put all these badges on and promote him right away. Yeah! Oh, he's so happy about that. Sweet. New skill unlocked, slobber. That's charming. Stitch rudely marks a target, slowing their movement speed by 20% and their attack speed by 20% for 10 seconds. Shortly after, a security gun shoots the target, dealing 688 damage to the enemy and nearby enemies. Sweet. He is amazing. I can't believe we finally have Stitch. I've literally been waiting for this ever since I started the game, so. This is absolutely amazing. Now, we've only got two things, his Plasma Blast and his Slobber right now, so I'm just gonna use basically all of my skill points right now and uh, do that. Now, hardly costs any gold, but as you get higher up, it costs a lot more. So definitely save your gold for that, if nothing else. All right, so let's go ahead and promote Stitch right away. Yay, he's a green plus one, and check out his new core stats. I think his most impressive jump um, definitely was in his max HP, for sure. All right, you know what, guys? We can do it again, so let's just do it. Now, I thought before you had to enhance your badges before you went ahead and promoted him, but apparently that's just for at the very end. Um, so once you've leveled him up to a level that you're happy with, then you can add um, all the enhancements on, which actually saves me a lot of badges. So I definitely am gonna be saving up my badges to do that in the future. And it definitely saves me on gold as well. I probably spent way too much gold on that. All right, let's promote Stitch right away and now he's a blue so his new core stats again are absolutely impressive um this one what is the most impressive i think it still has to be his max hp but his power has gone up quite a bit as well almost 100 points there so that's great and we have a new skill unlock the 626 scuffle wow that is a mean looking badge 
Stitch tussles with an enemy, temporarily stunning them. Stitch hits the enemy four times, stealing 331 HP with each hit. Stitch only uses this skill when he is below 50% HP and can only use it once every 12 seconds. Sweet. I like it. Now we're gonna have to kind of improve his skills a little bit, but unfortunately we need more skill points to do that. So Stitch, even though he's gonna be strong, he's not gonna be the strongest right off the get-go. Um, we can promote, you know, let's promote him again. We're just promoting Stitch all the way today. Blue plus one, so yay. Oh my gosh, we have all the badges to go again? Well, maybe not. We'll see here. Gotta craft a whole bunch of the badges this time. Okay, just using all the badges on him. There we go, blue plus one, two, a blue plus two. And again, his stats are absolutely insane. I love it. Okay, so it looks like we won't be able to get him any higher uh, for a few reasons. Uh, the main one will be the badge. Um, so we're gonna have to wait on one badge for sure. It looks like it's gonna be the love bug. So about 16 of 20, which actually isn't too bad. We can also find it in the black market if we find the black market. Um, so we'll see sort of what happens here. I'm not gonna probably do it today, but that's okay. I'm in no hurry at this point. Stitch is gonna be amazing regardless. All right, let's see how high he is on the roster. Wow. Four, eight, tenth. So he is tenth now on my roster. He is ahead of Elastigirl, but just below Mickey Mouse. So Mickey Mouse is actually all ready to be promoted, but we are going to wait on doing that, um, at least for now. So I've got enough Stitch Chips, which is great, but unfortunately uh, not enough for Eve just yet. But uh, we'll go ahead and raid this one. Now we did get one chip for that, so she's that one step closer to um, evolving once more. All right, so let's go into the market here, and we've got core chips today for 76 gems. Why not? Um, and then a whole bunch of other badges, which I just don't even look at. I just purchased, because I know they're gonna be useful regardless. Um, now in, oh, the black market is available, and Baymax chips are available here, so we can get three of them for 120 of the diamonds right now, so I'm purchasing them, I'm not thinking twice about that. I don't have Baymax, so that is something super useful. You can also get Sally chips, three of them for 120. I've got the gems, so why not? Um, and, oh, sweet. The love bug bit that we need for Stitch, um, we can actually get three of them, so I'll be short one in order to promote him, so that is actually super duper exciting. Okay, sweet. Well, that was actually super duper successful. Now, I should go here into my mailbox and claim some of my stuff here. That will be helpful. It literally just becomes stuff. There we go. Look at that. I can't believe we got Stitch. He's amazing. You know what we didn't check out, though, on Stitch was some of his graphics. So let's check them out. So he shoots the blaster. Or shoots several blasters. He spits, dances, double dances, and shoots some more. So Stitch has some great animations and he is a super strong character. I just need to work on getting his skills a lot higher, also his level. Um, I will start collecting his chips again, but I will have to wait until tomorrow to start doing that. So that looks like what I'm gonna have to do. So let's go ahead here and raid the red team. I usually run this one, but why not? Um, two guys, I should have probably changed the difficulty on that to be a little bit harder because it actually is just literally so easy for me to do. Now it's time to check into my guild. So the check-in reward today is 40,000 coins. That's the main thing I care about. And uh, yeah, coin, I will take it. So we'll check in today, 25 of 44. Um, now in the mercenaries, I need to add some heroes to that. There we go. So right now it's Jesse, Eve, and Buzz that I've sent off. I can still use those heroes though when I battle, so don't worry about that. War victory. Okay, 
Sweet, we lost yesterday, so we won today by quite a bit. And we got three war boxes. Platinum war boxes. Who knew? The season is complete for 2018. Okay, final ranking, we got platinum. I assume that's pretty good. Okay, so we got a poster, is that right? Powerline, Standout World Tour 95. That's cool. All right, so I guess we are going to be starting 2019s. Um, right now I've got nine war boxes to open, so that is super crazy. I am gonna wait on that because I have no idea what a war box is, um, but I will go ahead and open a gold crate here. And we've got an inconspicuous apple. Doesn't look scary at all, does it? Now, I've already been in the black market, guys, but if you're in the market, you can access the black market. But I wanted to show you guys that there is a separate section for the black market. It's not always lit up. Sometimes it's faded uh, just because it's not accessible. So kind of like the Mega Mart um, over just to the right a little bit, it'll be blacked out. Um, so the black market isn't always uh, visible there to do. Now, the daily sign in here, okay, so gold credits is the first reward for today. Now it does look like Olaf has joined us in the game, so that is something I get to look forward to. I am gonna be logging in every single day to get as many Olaf chips as possible. So actually, let's go into Heroes here, and Olaf should be, yep, he is now listed at the bottom here, so um, we need 10 chips to unlock Olaf. So the race is on, guys, for collecting Olaf. It's the only way right now that we can get the chips is by signing in, so we all have to be patient uh, for a few days until uh, we can actually get some of those chips. So that's pretty much it. I think that's everything I'm going to be doing for this video today. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a big hero thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that little bell for post notifications, and we will see you guys for the next video.